It's the second game of our series against the Midland Rockhounds, and it's Sunday, so we're joined by the skipper, Steve Bouchelle, whose team is on a three-game winning streak, won six of the last seven. And uh, Boo, it's been a good week, capped off by a, a strong performance last night after a long bus trip. Yeah, a nice win for us last night. And again, I mean, this little streak this past week, just I give the credit to the pitchers. Those guys are carrying us. They've carried us all season, and uh, we get timely hitting and scored just enough runs to win the game. And, and they're playing good defense. So the, all those things added up are, are paying off for us. Yeah, the defense has been especially noticeable. And maybe that's just because we've seen some really difficult defensive performances. I don't know how else to really describe them uh, you know, by San Antonio in that series. But it really does highlight the fact that uh, while this team maybe doesn't have the most uh, outstanding web gem type of plays on a daily basis, uh, you guys just play mistake-free defense. Well, for the most part, you're right. And, and, you know, I think we take the philosophy there's 27 outs, and the more outs you give a team, the better chance they have to score, especially if you break it down to innings. If you give a team four or five outs like San Antonio did to us while we were at home, you know, teams are going to take advantage of that no matter how good they are. So if we can limit teams to three outs an inning and just make the plays we're supposed to make, I think we'll be okay. You look at last night's ball game, Kevin Pesedas, you really needed to get a strong performance out of him given that the bullpen had thrown 24 innings in the previous three ball games. You know, it's not the first time that Kevin's been called upon to eat innings for you, and every time he seems to rise to the occasion and has pitched pretty darn well almost every time out there. Yeah, he's done it. He has done it every time out there, and I think he was probably a little, he probably wanted to go out for that seventh inning, but. Um, he cruised through four and a couple long innings for him there, the fifth and sixth, where he racked up his pitches and the pitch count got up there. I think he was in the mid-80s, close to 90. And um, You know, we had it set up how we wanted it. Tuffy needed to get an inning before he starts on Tuesday and, and Font needed to get in there. So it worked out and, and we, were we were able to avoid extra innings and, and uh, escape with a win. So it turned out good. Here with Rough Riders manager Steve Bouchelle. I want to rewind to a couple of nights ago, uh, that Thursday night game where... I think it was low 30s wind chill. Uh, everyone had the parkas out, uh, and there were a few guys crazy out there wearing short sleeves. Have you been a part of many games colder than that? Since I've been in the Texas League, that was by far the coldest game. I've never worn a jacket uh, to coach third base or, you know, or to have it on during the game. I've always found a way to be warm enough, but that was by far run away. Even the games up north that we play in April to start the season, uh, that was the coldest game by far. And you know, the guys wearing short sleeves. I don't know how they did it that night because it, it was darn cold. Have there have been a lot of strange weather mishaps up in the big leagues and some of the other northern minor leagues as well where snow has gotten involved. Did you play in any snow games as a player? Yeah, I had a few. I, and actually had one I, when I was with the Cubs in Wrigley, and I, I believe it snowed. It was either late May or early June or mid-May. Anyway, it, it snowed at a time when it wasn't, wasn't supposed to snow. So, but uh, um, Toronto, I've had, I remember being, being very cold, and in Milwaukee the same. Uh, Toronto was probably the coldest game I ever played at the old stadium on the lake, and, and it was snowing, uh, and the wind was blowing, and that was pretty miserable. Yeah, this team actually has a lot of guys from the north, from Ohio, Indiana, uh, and a lot of players, obviously, from places where it's where it's uh, not as cold. But uh, for you, being a warm weather guy from Southern California, how did you deal with being in the cold? And was it really something you just shrugged off, or was it something that affected you? I think it's something you you have to try to shrug off. But I think when you get really cold, it does affect you. You try to layer up, and if you're an infielder, you have to be able to throw, so you can't wear too much. Uh, underneath your jersey while you're out there playing. It, it, it's a big adjustment when it gets cold. I think for me the hardest thing was the ball always seemed like an ice cube. When you got it in your hands, if you made the play, uh, making the throw over to first base, it was always your hands were dry and the ball was slippery, and that, that, was, that was the most difficult thing to overcome. Getting back to this team this past week, you guys have won a lot of really close games. And uh, what I tell people, I think, that, I think that's important to establish early on in the season to develop the character of this team, that you are a team that wins close games. Do you feel the same way? I think so. And, and again, that goes to the bullpen. You know, we, we have confidence in those guys that for the most part, they've come in and thrown strikes and, and gotten the job done for us. And I think, you know, you certainly don't want to play a close game every single night, you know, where you're playing no doubles and you're worried about guarding the lines at the end and you're feeling the pressure of that one-run game. But it's good for these guys to get that. And it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's something you don't want to do every night, but it certainly builds character, and our guys have been really good at it. Yeah, not good for the health of the manager, right. I know. <laughs> good for uh, the antacid sales. But you had your first player movement in quite a long time this past week with Ryan Fearbin, Jake Brigham, and Alex Buckholtz going up to AAA. A couple of relievers from Myrtle Beach who have pitched well in their first appearances in the Texas League. But how does this leave you guys shorthanded and uh, 
how do you make it through this this stretch where you're playing a man short, uh, you're seemingly a starter short, and really a third baseman short? Yeah, you know, playing a man short sometimes for the manager, um, you want the extra bodies, but it makes it kind of easy. You really, you're, the choices are there for you, and, and it makes it easy. And the guys know that they're going to be in there playing. Uh, pitching wise, you know, we've been able to to cover the innings. We get two relievers from Myrtle, and I'll bet neither one of them has gone three innings before. And they come here, and you know, Jeff's got them going three innings right out of the gate uh, because they've thrown strikes and their pitch counts have been low. So. Uh, I think somewhere down the line, hopefully, uh, another arm will be coming our way, but I, I can't be positive about that. And whether we get another position player, you know, there's always that trickle down effect and that, you know, who's available and who's hurt. So I don't know. We'll just deal with what we have. Finally, Martin Perez starts for you guys tomorrow. Uh, expected to make, I think, a couple of rehab starts here as he tries to work his way back up to the big leagues. Good to have Martin back. I know you had him for a while uh, in 2010, 2011. Uh, he's a guy who's uh, really paid his dues and worked. He has paid his dues, and he's grown up and matured. I'm really looking forward to seeing him throw. I, you know, he was throwing so good in spring training uh, before, he, before he broke his uh, wrist. So hopefully he'll come in here and, and do what you know he's capable of doing. Cover. I think he's going probably four innings his first outing, and uh, if he can give us four and, and do what he's supposed to do, he'll be well on his way. Well, Boo, congratulations on the win, the winning streak, and best of luck out there today. Okay, thanks, Alex. That's Steve Bouchel, Rough Riders manager. We're back after this on the Frisco Rough Riders Baseball Network.